We face an immediate electricity shortfall, and many of you have heard that that gap is about 6,000 megawatts. So what we're required to do is fill the gap of 6,000 megawatts. At any given time, ESCOM now has shown that they're able to supply about 26,500 to 27,000 megawatts, peak demand. So that is when our demand is at the greatest for electricity, uh, gets to about 33, 32,000 megawatts. So that's the gap. So when you talk about that gap, that's that. So, so that is filling that gap, that's excluding the potential that we need to uh, increase for growth. So if you want to see high levels of growth in terms of what we do through Operation Wooden Lela, then you have to get that gap and the additional megawatts onto the grid um, much sooner. Um, the, 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 the second point is, of course, that we need to act with urgency to end load sharing. And there are two aspects to this. The first is improving plant performance. Because the quickest way to try and fix the electricity crisis is to deal with plant performance, is to ensure that the maintenance regimes are being implemented and that we are able to deal with the, the current situation in ESCOM. The second component is to get as much generation capacity onto the grid as quickly as possible. I'm sure you're tired of hearing this. I'm going to be a bit cynical, right? Um, I hope you don't mind. We're establishing another committee, right, uh, to deal with this. But it's important that I, I, I put this in partly because there's a difference in the reasons why this committee is very different. And the committee is, is, is a national energy crisis committee that the speaker had introduced. And I support the secretariat. The, the difference here is that the president has taken overall political responsibility for driving the announcements that he made on the 25th of July. So he said, I'm not delegating this to another minister in the presidency. I'm not delegating this to the deputy president. I'm not delegating this to another minister, right? I want to take responsibility for this and to be able to coordinate. Because it is a complex area, given that it cuts across a whole set of different government departments for us to be able to do. I'm not going to promise that low chain is going to end tomorrow. I don't think low chain is going to end in six months, neither in 12 months but we're working towards ensuring that we do reduce the risk of load shedding. And so if we are able to implement this plan over the next 18 months, we think in 18 months time, we're able to stabilize the system, have sufficient megawatts onto the grid, introduce plant performance and reduce um, a usage that we could potentially see a significant change.